I've got one that can see. What's up guys? Mika here, the Travel and Tarot, back again with today's daily focus. So I hope you guys are finding value in these videos and I hope that they are helping guide you in the right direction. Okay, don't forget to take advantage of my 111 readings. They are $1, one question, one card readings. There is also a 20 minute video reading as well as a 45 minute deep dive. Everything that you need will be in the description or you can go to the travelintarot.com, okay? So today, I'm going to be pulling from, which I think they're called the High Priestess of the Light. Not fully sure. It's irrelevant. <laughs> going to be pulling one Oracle card and one Tarot card, and we're going to see where best it would be to place your focus today for the beautiful person who found this video. What information or where would be the best place for the viewer to focus if they found this video, Spirit Angels Guides. Thank you for this information. I'm truly grateful. What information would you like to... Oh. Okay, so we had two cards jump out. Actually, oh, that is so crazy. Wisdom was showing up at the bottom of the deck, and what's really popping into mind, because I did a Virgo reading that I, that I recently posted, that... Um, Wisdom was the overarching energy. So you, if you're a Virgo that found this video, you might want to actually go check that out. But, ooh, I love it so much. So it, we have earth magic showing up, and we have bright heart light. Okay, so today's focus is going to be definitely using your magic, being fearless, so that you can remove those obstacles, okay? And this is a 26 card that breaks down to eight, which is all about your infinite self, okay? So you're gonna wanna utilize that earth magic to be fearless as you step into your infinite self and utilize this energy to move towards your soul's purpose, okay? And we have this card breaking down to a nine, it's an 18 that breaks down to a nine, which is all about fulfillment and and and, and all uh, almost completed, okay? So you might be going through some type of a cycle where you've been, especially with removing obstacles showing up on this earth magic card, you might have been going through a period of time where you've been feeling like there's a lot of obstacles and they want you to know that if you could step into this new you, fearlessly, those obstacles will be removed, okay? And then it says open connections, okay? They want you to open up, open up to others, open up to love, and be fear and fearlessly do it. We are in Leo season, which is all about confidence, moving towards your purpose with confidence, because we had wisdom showing up to let you know that you have received the information. You just want to ground yourself with that earth magic, be fearless in your approach and open yourself up to the love and communication, not only from the others around you, but your angel spirits guides. They're constantly guiding you, constantly giving you information, but they just want you to tune in and be fearless, fearlessly step into this new you, whoever you, whoever you are that found this video, whatever it is you're trying to step into, do it with, with no fear. Because not only are you protected, when I picked up the wisdom card, we had summoning power. Summon the power of courage and confidence and fearlessness. Summon this Leo energy. It, it can be intoxicating because you've received the wisdom from what has been released or let go of. Summon this confidence and power and be fearless. Fearlessly step into who you truly are with this being an eight card, okay? And open yourself up to love, communication, and what's popping into my head, open yourself up to how it's going to come about, okay? So it might not look the way you thought it would, okay? But it's going to feel exactly like what you've asked for. So just be aware of that, my beautiful viewer, okay? And as soon as I pick up this deck, I was inspired to use the Good Karma deck. We have strength showing up. What did I say about tapping in to this fearless, 
confident Leo energy, okay? We are in the summertime. The sun is all about confidence. It's all about self-image. Tap into, use this earth magic. Use this who you are now and the wisdom that you've learned to open yourself up and receive. Okay, and you do have the strength to do it, my beautiful viewer. So I'm just going to pull one tarot card to see how we can clarify. I mean, I feel like the strength card was pretty obvious. But yeah, we have the Ten of Wands. I love it. And see, a lot of people are afraid of this, this, this Ten of Wands cards. But it just means that maybe you've been feeling a little overburdened or a little, a little... It just means that you need to delegate some stuff and most importantly, discern the thoughts that you're going to allow into this new cycle. Because the reason I love the Ten of Wands is because it's the end of this burden. So you get to decide how you're going to fearlessly move into this new image of yourself and open yourself up. So I have a sneeze coming. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. I thought I was going to sneeze. And it says joy, wisdom, learning, art. It even says music, okay? But this, this here represents the obstacles that are now removed, okay? So just keep that in mind. Even though this is a 10 card, and <clears throat> tens of, of wands and tens of swords can be a little frightening to some people. But this, this means this is the end of it, okay? This means expect new positive outcomes there, my beautiful viewer, okay? This is why they're asking you to be fearless. The obstacles that you have allowed to accumulate are being removed or have been removed. And that being said, you can move into this new you with confidence, and that's what they're asking you to do, okay? I'm just going to pull one more tarot card to see if they can give us a little deeper information into this Ten of Wands, or how you can fearlessly step into this, okay? Because this Ten of Wands is letting you know that it is the end and obstacles are now clear, okay? It's the end of this burden that you may have accumulated over time. We have the Lovers and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, yes, this is about following your heart. Could very well have to do with a relationship. But the Eight of Pentacles for me is definitely a focus card, okay? So what it feels like these obstacles might have been is been limiting beliefs and what you may have been focused on. But they're asking you to tap back into true love. Tap back into who you truly are and open yourself up to that, my beautiful viewer, and do it fearlessly. It doesn't matter if you're trying to create a relationship. It doesn't matter what you're trying to create because it's about the energy. Abundance covers love, money, energy, everything, okay? So if you're just focused on the energy of abundance, that's where everything lies in the same direction, okay? But we do have the Ten of Pentacles showing up here. Once you do redirect your focus towards following your heart and the things that you love. Now, the, the lover's card is also a decision card. So maybe you guys are at some type of a crossroads here because you may not know how to release yourself from these burdens. They're saying tap into this wisdom here so that you can receive the information on where to focus, how to open up so that you can receive your heart's desire. Okay, so it really just seems like what it seems like, beautiful viewer, is that the things that have accumulated before, because here's another 10 card, um, the, the things that have accumulated before are now being removed. And the more you focus, the more it moves you towards your abundance. And again, abundance of family, long term, legacy wealth, money, love, a beautiful relationship. It's all about successful completion it's on the other end of this energy here this ten of wands is the energy of burden and the obstacles that may have accumulated that are now being removed that are moving you towards this okay so what you really want to do here is just trust in the wisdom that you have received trust in the information that you've received and take action my beautiful viewer okay most importantly once you receive that inspiration take action so 
I hope something did resonate. If it did, please like, share, subscribe. I'm truly grateful that I get to do this. Please take advantage of my 111 readings. They are $1, one question, one card readings. And there's also the personalized video readings, um, the 20 minute and the 45 minute deep dive. Definitely stay tuned for more videos like this. I do hope that if you found this video, that there was something in it for you that you can now take action on, okay? Because that's where this decision card comes in. It's time for you to decide. Do you want the burdens of life or do you want the abundance of life? And you get to choose where you focus, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I am Mika, the Traveling Tarot. I love you guys. Take care of each other, okay? Peace.